All right, folks, welcome to our week five. So we are now turned in our descriptive essays as of uh, my recording of this video, which is the 3rd of February. So by 11.59, February 3rd, that second essay is in, and you could expect it to be returned to you within two weeks' time. All the narratives are back. Um, I'd say, by and large, they were they were good. Um, a lot of A's, a lot of B's. Uh, some missed the mark. Some were more successful than others. If you ever have a question on uh, why you received the grade that you received, I am more than happy to uh, answer that for you, as long as you do so uh, with... Uh, at least a modicum uh, of respect and civility uh, and maturity. And don't just fly off the handle yelling at me that, hey, you you gave me a C, I deserve an A, blah, 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 because uh, that's not going to fly. All right, so, you know, I'm willing to talk to you, and I'm negotiable. I am what I like to call endlessly persuadable, okay? Uh, that's a bit of hyperbole there. Uh, if... <laughs> If if you did uh, atrociously awful on the essay, there's that's on you, okay? You didn't meet the criteria of the rubric in one way or another. But I can be brought around to, to, to see the light, as it were, uh, to see your point of view uh, from time to time. Not always a guarantee, but it's worth uh, reaching out to me via email, and we can discuss. Um, so I look forward to what you guys did on your second essay be back in two weeks there. And now we're moving on to our third mode of discourse, our third and final mode of discourse in the 1101 half. That is argument and persuasion. Um, there are two papers, two essays that are going to be uh, attending this final unit. Uh, the first of the two is going to be just a basic, no research required version of your topic. So whatever your topic is, and you'll have some time to think about it, you can look at the uh, the announcement for this week. I have some suggestions. There are certain topics that I would consider off the table. Uh, for example, abortion. I'm sort of tired of reading pro or anti-abortion papers or pro-life, pro-choice papers. It, it's just kind of a topic that is so uh, run down. We, we, we've heard these vociferous arguments, very impassioned arguments this way and that way. Uh, so topics like that, or let's legalize marijuana, or let's lower the drinking age, or, um, or ban gay marriage, or something like that. Um, not that I feel particularly strongly, or not so strongly in any of those topics. I'm just tired of reading papers about them. So try to think of something a little more outside of the box, or something a little more original and creative. Um... Maybe, uh, and it can be a topical event, um, the, the border wall, uh, you can make the argument that we're all sick of hearing about that border wall, but it's a relatively new phenomenon that's come into the public discourse within the last few years. Um, so that that's on the table. Um, some versions of immigration arguments I might be open to. Uh, in the past, I've been a little uh, hesitant about those, but if you want to do maybe uh, something having to do with Immigrant. Maybe you have a very bold uh, argumentative position. All there should be unlimited uh, um, immigration, or we should live in a borderless society. Okay, those are arguments that are being made out there. Uh, perhaps that's your position. That's an interesting one to read. You can make that argument. I'd be willing to hear you out. And by the way, when I read your paper, my opinion, my biases on where I stand on the issue. That's checked at the door. All I am looking at is how well do you state your position and how well do you support it? Is it logical? Does it make sense? Are you kind of reining in the emotion? Okay. Uh, you might do an essay about uh, trans activism, yay or nay. Okay. Maybe you are. Or, or gender pronouns. Okay. I have my opinions on that idea, but I'm going to just table them and read what you have to say about them. And as long as you are making well-reasoned, well-argued points and you're not demonizing your opposition, uh, you're not calling people racist, bigot, homophobes, you know, kind of doling it out like dollar bills, okay, uh, then I'm willing to hear you out, okay? You can make the argument that literally everything and anything is arguable, 
okay? Everything, some people have this opinion, that everything is a matter of opinion. Um, I don't know if I subscribe to that. In fact, I will tell you plainly that I don't. Some things are and some things are not. Uh, that's the only little piece of bias I will share with you all today. Coming from my two cents there. But uh, we want to start to get into this mode. So uh, in chapter, I believe it's chapter 3, part 8, is the argumentative section in your uh, SCC text. Uh, and I have two, uh, so we have exercises there. I think it's exercises 24, 25, and 26. You have uh, all week in which to do those, uh, starting from Monday the 4th and ending on Sunday the 10th. Uh, and then, as of this um, this Wednesday, uh, I'm going to open up uh, a discussion board on the two reader selections for the week. Those are William Hazlitt's On the Pleasure of Hating, uh, and then Jonathan Swift's A Modest Proposal. These are two classics of uh, English rhetoric. Um, in fact, William Hazlitt is regarded as being the most accomplished essayist in the entire English language. Okay, so take that for what you will. These two writers are kind of sarcastic, acerbic, um, uh, prickly uh, kind of writers. Um, there is sarcasm, there is satire, there is irony. These are all rhetorical devices used to persuade a readership, an audience, okay? So there's a lot of humor in these things. It's dark humor, okay? It's, um, you know, and, and these are writers from the 19th and 18th centuries, okay? So the language might be in our 2019 eyes and to our 2019 ears, maybe a little dated. You might have to look things up. The sentence structure might be a bit convoluted. So be patient, be focused as you read, uh, and I have questions uh, that are there uh, that are going to be live uh, as of Wednesday, and then uh, the discussion forum, and then that discussion forum will close the following Wednesday. So that'll be open this Wednesday, the 6th. I think I have it open that evening, actually, uh, like around 5 p.m., uh, and then I have it due the 13th, the following Wednesday at 11.59 p.m., okay? So that is two things to do this week. Your SCC exercises, chapter 3.8, and that is uh, exercises 24, 25, and 26, and then the two reader selections, and there are discussion questions uh, in the forum, okay? Now remember, our discussion forum, you answer the questions, that's your contribution, and to receive full credit, 100%, you have to respond to at least one other person's uh, contribution to the forum. So you guys should be talking to each other, okay? You should be uh, sharing your opinions, stating where you agree or disagree with your fellow classmates, uh, all civilly and responsibly and maturely, of course. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then this week, too, it's a good idea to start thinking about an argumentative topic um, because next week you're going to spend time writing that essay, uh, the argumentative essay on your topic of choice. So it's a good idea to start actually coming to me uh, through the next couple of weeks and asking me, hey, I have a topic idea. What do you think? Okay. Yes or no. Because um, remember, you're going to have a research version of this uh, assignment later. That's like the last assignment in the 1101 half. Uh, the research essay is an argumentative essay. So keep in mind, you're going to have to go into uh, Galileo, the uh, online databases through GNTC, uh, and research your topic and see what critical uh, academic uh, papers have been contributed uh, towards this topic of your choice, okay? So it's it's a good idea to think uh, thoroughly about what you might want to do, okay? Um, come to me with uh, any questions you might have. You want to think of a topic, I'm happy to have you guys bounce those off uh, and we'll think of a good uh, topic to argue, Okay. Um, so I think that is clear enough, at least I hope. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Email me this week. I have one uh, assignment that I'm going to get back to you by this Wednesday. That is the reader questions from our descriptive chapter on uh, goodbye to my Twinkie days and once more to the lake. 
So those are upcoming. You'll receive those grades back by Wednesday, and then we'll be completely up to date, uh, and the descriptives will be back to you uh, within two weeks' time uh, from today. So that is the, is that the 17th? Yeah, so the 17th by that Sunday, you should get them back. Okay. All right, folks, so I am going to sign off with you all. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your week. Uh, enjoy the Super Bowl, I guess. I call it the Super Sham uh, because my Saints should be in it. Sour grapes over here. Um, the Rams I find to be completely uninteresting, uh, and the Patriots I'm having a bit of weariness uh, with the Patriots, but I might actually have to root... I use that term loosely, uh, for the Patriots because the the Rams I don't really care for anyway, and the way that that championship game went down is just still haven't really fully recovered, even though it's been two weeks. Okay, I should get over it, I know. Uh, but I'm a fragile fan, just like we all are. In any case, uh, enjoy the Super Bowl, guys, or by viewing this video, you will have enjoyed the Super Bowl, I guess. Have a great week! And reach out to me if you need anything. And, of course, Miss Evans is there as well. And um, enjoy your week. Bye-bye.